Okay, welcome to Rooster TV and today we're joined by the speed machine of the North LA Football Club and the only guy in the SNFL with no vowels in his surname, Lee Riswick. Leroy, thanks for joining us. That's right, thanks for having us. No worries. It's been a uh, big year for Lee on and off the field in 2012. Uh, he's had a very good uh, consistent start to the uh, season and continued that uh, up to date and he should poll pretty well in the best and fairest at the end of the year. We'll see, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I think the coach is still taught to him, so yeah, he's, he's in the good books. Um, so tell us, just elaborate on your form so far and uh, go through the season um, today. Yeah, no, that has been pretty consistent season for me. Um, no injuries really helps, I think. If you can stay injury free and play your role, I guess that's all you've got to do. Josh has got me playing a little bit different this year, so um, I've really enjoyed the difference there, the challenge with that. And yeah, hopefully that continues for the next five games. Yeah, during the season, uh, Lee's uh, kicked his 100th goal for the club, which is a fantastic achievement, and he also played some state football, which is a great honour. Um, just talk us through the process of getting selected and then actually getting a game in the, uh, in the game against WA. Yeah, um, obviously start of the season was pretty good for me and um, the state game plays pretty early in the year. So uh, that form sort of helped me get selected. Uh, the only North player to play, which was a bit different, obviously having to mingle with all the other footy players. Um, but that was a great, a great achievement for myself. First time playing state footy for SA, obviously played Queensland before, so really enjoyed the experience of it and to win as well, it was great fun. Obviously Jimmy and Clint Alloway were in the squad, but uh, for different reasons couldn't play, uh, we won't elaborate on that too much, yeah. but uh, the actual, the other players in the squad, the, the probably two or three guys that you got along with better than the others? Uh, yeah, Ben Nason from Centrals, got along with him really well, it was an emergency for the game. Um, Pretty much most of them, it was really easy to get along with them actually, they are really good guys, um, that's what was probably the best thing about it, getting to meet a few others and yeah, after all the, you know, we're all playing footy for the same reason, so we're all representing South Australia, so it was good. Excellent. Off field, uh, you've had a change of job, which yep. uh, you've started five or six weeks ago or a bit longer? Yeah, probably about three to four months now, so three to four months. months. Excellent, so uh, can you go through that and uh, tell us how you've changed from PT to bank? Yeah, yeah, a, a complete change, obviously being a personal trainer now, moving into Bank SA, um, just thought of something a little different, something with a bit more career development, um, sort of still do a little bit of the personal training stuff, but um, yeah, definitely want to try something new, lots of different avenues to sort of break away into, into the banking world there. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it, uh, lots to learn, lots to do, but yeah, I've got to travel a little bit up to Gawler. So Central's town, I find that out a lot up there, but uh, it's all going really well. Nice. And uh, through PT, uh, Lee did meet his lovely partner in Jess, and uh, together they've uh, become proud parents uh, five or six weeks ago. Yep. A lovely baby boy, Hayden. Hayden, yep. yep. That's changed the lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. Um, lucky enough to obviously have the little one there uh, six weeks on this Friday, so which is really exciting for us. Um, obviously sleep, and that's a lot different at the moment, but he's sleeping pretty well, so he loves his footy as well, he comes to footy, um, he sleeps most of it, so it's not too bad, but um, yeah, it's definitely changed our lives, we're, we're really enjoying it, um, obviously Jess's parents, their first grandchild, uh, my parents, their fourth, so yeah, it's, it's great for the family. Well, hopefully it slept a couple of weeks ago during the games, but the last couple, it, uh, hopefully it's opened its eyes and yeah, seen the roots of place for footy. Exactly. So. Um, I'm to Jess's dad, Gary, a great man. Uh, he, he likes to tell myself and Lee after their, uh, a Rooster victory how, uh, how good of a player he was as a Central Junior. Yeah. I'm not sure about his senior career, but uh, as a Central Junior, he uh, was apparently very good, his own words. Uh, his influence on you and his support um, with your football? Yeah, obviously. Uh you have a look at that and you go back and you have a chat with him all the time and he tells us how good he was um, pretty much at all sports, but that's alright, that's his words. <laughs> Each time they get a little bit better, so no, he obviously played footy as a junior and cricket and tennis as a sportsman himself, so um, his support and Sue, his wife obviously, great support of mine. Uh, from Central's now to North Adelaide supporters, they, uh, they know the song, they love it, they uh, get around it, wear their scarves, so yeah, they come to every game. Uh, doesn't matter if it's raining, pouring, whatever it is, they'll come and they'll support us and do anything that we need, so it's great. No, it's great to see their jump ship onto the, uh, onto the Rooster bandwagon. Yeah, so. so the boys have been in good nick. We're obviously trying to cover a few injuries at the moment, but mm. the, the mid-tier players, the Cohen Teeleys, Mitch Clisby's, 
Uh, obviously, George Shring's injured now, but yeah. he was pe performing well. Uh, Jay Shannon and Will Doward, new to the club. Um, those guys need to continue to play good, good footy for us to perform at our optimum. Yeah, absolutely. They're, obviously, Cohen had a really good year last year and sort of continued this year. And Cliz has really stepped up this year. I think he's probably played the best he, best he has. Um, so, yeah, these guys need to continue. All of us really need to continue to play well. doesn't matter who we play against, so that's the only way we're going to win, I think. Yeah. That's why it's a team game, and uh, right. we'd like to thank Lee for joining us, and hopefully we uh, we watch him bouncing down the wing and kicking a few more goals for the rest of the season.